If you own a Go XLR and a Shure SM7B microphone, I'm gonna solve the two biggest problems you've probably got right now in your setup. Number one, I'm going to just flat out gift you profiles for my Go XLR sound device so you can just plug and play those right now. So that link is in the description below. You don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want to to figure out how to use them or uh, the other fun stuff that I'm gonna teach you in this video if that's all you're here for. Plug and play, go, and you're set. And you'll sound like this. The second biggest problem that I can assume that you've got if you've got the setup is that you're probably using OBS Studios for your audio and your video recording system for content creation with YouTube or on Twitch, right? So I'm gonna teach you how to put all of your audio onto independent track lines. Does that sound like something interesting to you guys? If so, we'll see you after this intro. Good morning, afternoon, or good night, everybody. My name is Corey J, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the optimum settings for OBS Studios to split all of your audio tracks perfectly so you can record and edit your clips easily. And we're gonna be showing you the perfect Go XLR settings that I use for my Shure SM7B microphone mixed with the bigger Go XLR this one. And I'm also going to give you free presets at the end of this video so that you guys can automatically just have optimum voice settings like this for your Shure SM7B microphone on the Go XLR. That's just a drag and drop. How nice is that? So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to show you guys how this is done, what settings I'm using in OBS, uh, what settings I'm using in Windows 11, and what set settings I'm using in Go XLR's app. Right off the bat, the first thing you're going to do to simplify this whole process, you're going to go into your, vo your volume, your sound, volume mixer settings, and for every game that you have installed either on Steam or the Epic Store or uh, the Blizzard Store, whatever, I want you to pop up every one of your games just quick launch and run not all at the same time you're gonna kill your computer that way don't be stupid and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here if you have a go XLR each and every one of your games you're gonna just set every one of your games to game go XLR just trust me that's gonna make your life simple on this just do that every time you install a new game just immediately volume mixer set that to game or otherwise it's not gonna be on the right spot and you're gonna go crazy not and people aren't gonna be able to hear your game so make it easy on yourself also any OBS browser pages that are popping up here, I just throw those on the sample one. Again, trust me, that's gonna make it easier. Um, Google Chrome, I have that running for system audio. Opera, I have this running my music because I run Spotify through that. And then Touch Portal, I have that ran as samples. So samples, the same thing as your Go XLR that does this. <laughs> Things like that. Also, Discord, run that as chat, and then I have this one set to broadcast stream mix for input on Discord there. Other than that, that's gonna be your simple process there. On OBS, this is gonna be another quick one here. You're gonna go to settings. When your settings pop up, go to output. All of your audio tracks for your stream are gonna be number one here. Then you're going to just copy all of my settings down through this uh, for your stream settings. Boom, done. Now, recording. I want you to go enable, enable all six audio tracks. Again, just trust me, it's going to make your life easier at the end of the day. But I just renamed all of my tracks. This is going to show you where all of your audio tracks are going to fall here really quick. So number one is going to be your master audio track. This is where you're going to be your master audio with everything mixed into one track. Then the second one is going to be your mic. The third one is going to be your discord mic. Your fourth one is going to be your gameplay. So I have this running from my, uh, from my capture card for my Switch. And then I have my desktop PC games all running into the game drive for the Go XLR and both of those are mixed into one track right here on this one. I'm rarely ever running them at the same time, but it's nice to have game as one separate thing. Track five is the music, so background music. I'm running Stream Beats music off of that so I don't have to have, deal with any copyright strikes um, no matter what I'm listening to. The sixth track is your samples, soundboards, and system audio tracks. So now this is another one that is just super controversial from what I'm seeing across all the different tutorials on YouTube. Disable all of your global audio devices. Just do it. Just trust me. This will make sense in a second. I promise you this will make your life so much easier. And then a uh, video settings. I'm running 1920 1080p 60 frames a second for oh, scaling and then output for any of that. Those are my settings there. You can screenshot and save those settings as you will. Outside of that. 
what you're going to do, you can either create a nested scene for this, which I should have done, create a nested scene. I just created a set of sources in a, in a separate folder. This does sort of the same thing. You can just drag and drop this into all of your main scenes that you're using for your stream anyways. Then you're going to create two audio inputs and then one, two, three, four, five audio outputs. This is going to make it super simple. You're going to have your game capture audio track, which is going to be game capture HD 60 pro or whatever one you're running your microphone, which is going to be broadcast stream mix from the go xlr discord chat chat go xlr your music as the music go xlr game audio for the game audio and the go xlr samples for your samples in the go xlr and the system audio under system go xlr outside of that in the go xlr settings i'm going to gift you guys my presets for the go xlr system here you're going to get a zip file it's basically take you to a link to my selfie account where you can download for free you'll get a zip file that's going to contain the the TTG streaming profile 2022 and the default microphone presets all in one thing. And then I'm going to try to make one for my mini go XLR so that these settings are kind of replicated in that system too, for you. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to pump out your settings and make them look like this. And this is how I get this type of audio. Again, this isn't for everybody. You're going to have to critique it a little bit and bend and, and whistle and things like that. I have my gain set to that and, uh, is a dynamic microphone for the Shure SM7 B and then mixer. These are the settings that I have for my mixer. So you guys can screenshot that, pause the video, and then the routing table. This is what you're going to need to set all of your routing stuff to. I know this looks a little crazy, but basically everything on the headphone needs to be enabled across the top there. So all of the inputs are being heard through the output speaker or headphones. Then you're broadcasting out through the microphone here. And then I have a line out for aux cable that goes into the bottom of my smartphone you can get these this whole little cable setup for uh, basically plugging your go xlr so all of your line out is going to be basically your tiktok stuff or your mobile things for your line out if you use that if not just leave all your line out stuff off. Then your chat, you want uh, mic ticked on that and then it also ticked on samples. And then for sampler, I have it to where I can use the sample buttons on the Go XLR. So you can record audio from your mic, your chat's mic in Discord, your game audio for game clips, your line in, if you have some other device coming in, like I have a second PC that comes into mind for emulator streaming or something like that. And then system capture. If you're watching a YouTube video and you're like, ooh, I like that sound clip, record the sound clip with your go xlr boom done that's how you record sound clips with the go xlr i think i covered everything with it okay cool so with that all being in place you guys can see how easy that was once all of the hard work of making your system and everything behave properly like getting all the settings and everything down right again if you like this video give it a thumbs up if this helped you guys answer some questions of this long lost how do i get my go xlr and my sure sm7b to sound amazingly good while splitting all of my audio tracks up with the tech that i've got if that answered that question for you guys subscribe and because uh, i think only three percent of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed anyways come on three percent we can do better than that guys Hit, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Also, check out this other video where I teach you guys how to create some other cool stuff like some templates on Canva or this other video that I recommend specifically for you over here. So stay healthy, my friends, and we'll see you in the next video.